Hello. Hi. Hola. Aloha. Namaste. Okay. So, um, hope you're all doing well this August 2020. Um, I am Neil. Neil Sarkar, Nilanjan Sarkar. And I have created some of these videos on uh, different topics that interest me on different aspects of life and uh, uh, a lot of my folks and friends have asked me to continue posting these videos so here it is uh, today I'm going to share some thoughts regarding an often used term or a phrase um, people talk about searching for yourself um, or something similar to that effect People talk about um, finding spirituality or um, looking at uh, topics like on the subject of self-realization, meditation. Now, there's tons of books and um, libraries full of books which uh, could uh, be read on this subject, but this is just a two minute topic I wanted to discuss. Um, just as a background, when I traveled to uh, Rishikesh in India, in the Himalayas, uh, I traveled for uh, there and stayed there for about five, six weeks, and I just traveled alone, or in general, when I have traveled alone, uh, a lot of people, my friends and relatives or folks have been curious and they have asked me, what are you searching for? Or are you searching for yourself? Things like that. Um, and I really did not know the answer because I never thought of it that way, of searching for something. I just traveled um, or wanted to explore or certain aspects which interested me. For example, in Rishikesh, about the, uh, the rishis who live there, the sages and these old uh, traditions and yoga um, and such. Uh, so I really did not have an answer because I never thought of it that way. And uh, I happened to come across something um, related to this concept of search in spiritual context. Um, where there was an idea which I think is kind of an answer to this question and this is a sentence which is also I think it defines the answer and the question itself so the idea is that you get what you already have so it's it's a interesting sentence and or uh, phrase which I wanted to use here so um, and I read it somewhere so you get what you already have and you lose what you never had so the objective or the process is to get something which you already have in yourself and you lose what you never had. So it's kind of perplexing, but so what does this mean? Um, this means in, in very simplistic terms is that the, the goal of the search is that what you're actually seeking is inside of you. So you get what you already have. It is actually the real what you're seeking is the real soul or the spirit or the Atma as it's called in Hindi and Sanskrit um, in the Vedic literature, the Atma or the consciousness or the part of the universal consciousness that you are. So it is already there within you and that's what you're searching for. So it's not something which can be found outside. So hence, you get what you already have, 
right? That's the first part. So you are looking for the soul which is already inside of you. Now the second part of the sentence is that you lose what you never had, right? So you get what you already have and you lose what you never had. So what does the second part mean? So the second part is even more confusing. So you lose what you never had. What it means is that you would lose the false ego or the false idea, the false identity of yourself or oneself or about the world around you, which is also called an illusion. It is also called Maya in the Vedic scriptures or in Sanskrit and Hindi. So, um, so you lose that illusion, you lose the Maya. And so the idea is to come out of that illusion. And that is the second part of this process of self-realization, right? So um, I think that's about it. There can be this, as I said, this can fill up a full library of books or there are probably a million uh, books or videos and articles on the internet on this, but just wanted to share this and keep it short. Um, hope you're having a good day. Enjoy and stay safe. Take care. See you later. Namaste.